those lottery tickets where it's a fake one and they say you won $10,000 or some shit like that. There is one of those fake tickets. They have those fake tickets for like practical jokes. My buddies did that joke on me and I seriously thought I actually won $10,000 because like I pissed him off one day because I pretended that I hit his girlfriend with a wrench. <laughs> the story is I went to their guys' the, these guys' this couple's place. Fuck, I can't speak today. I went to my best friend's house and her husband was at work and he was coming home so we can go watch some movie. I forgot what movie, all three of us. So I'm just chilling there at the apartment with her watching. I think he was big with Tom Hanks or some shit. Yeah, and he's like taking his time. So my buff, my friend tells me, he's like, text him saying that you hit me with a red. See what he says. I say, okay. So I text him saying like, hurry, get the fuck home. I just hit your f f fiance with a wrench. He's like, well, what the fuck, dude? And I'm like, but dude, we're going to miss the movie. You better hurry the fuck up. He was pissed. He came home because the, his wife, fiance, told him the truth mid-text. But he was pissed off, so he came home, and he got, back, he got back at me by getting me this lottery ticket. He gave it to me. I thought I won, but I go like, no, fuck. And then I'm reading the thing. I'm like, oh, shit, it's not real. And it's like, he laughed his ass off. That's my story, but I wonder how these guys did to 10 unluckiest, unluckiest lottery winners. God damn it, I need some water. Let's start this shit. <laughs> He's a hard-working family man from California who got lucky when he bought a winning Powerball ticket. Unfortunately, the timing was bad. Wynn was visiting Vietnam and oh. didn't know that he had the winning ticket. He discovered his good fortune only upon returning to the USA several months later to find oh. his face all over the news. Lottery officials released a security camera video of him purchasing the ticket, hoping that this would help them track down the winner. Unfortunately, Wynn's luck ended with the purchase. Seeing as it was bought months ago, Wynn couldn't locate his ticket anymore. Oh. He tried to claim the prize without the actual ticket, but that is Shit. against the rules, and the rules were not bent for this case. Unable to find the ticket before the deadline, Wynn was never able to claim his prize. Oh, damn, Denise bro! Rossi is a Californian woman who felt trapped in an unhappy marriage. Fortune smiled at her when she won the lottery. Her lucky lottery ticket was worth $1.3 when she cashed it in, she decided not to share the good news with her husband. Yeah, On the contrary, like you do. she decided when you're to in divorce him. Marriage. She left him without a word. The husband was suspicious, but still agreed to the divorce without much discussion. When he finally found out about her fortune and what it was that gave her the courage to disappear from his life, he sued her for not disclosing the information in the divorce settlement. He won the lawsuit and took every penny she had won away from her. Oh, fucking douchebag! Joel Ifergan is a Canadian man who has been involved in a seven-year-old unsuccessful lawsuit with the goal being getting the money he had won on the lottery. Did he say seven, seven years? Too late. Ifergan purchased the winning ticket at a local convenience store just a few minutes before 9 p.m., which was the deadline for the ticket registration. He bought two tickets, out of which the second ticket, the $27 million one, was registered oh, seven seconds Oh, that's a lot of cash. Because of this transgression, Ifragan was awarded nothing. The man, however, found this to be a great injustice and decided to sue. In hey, order man, to I'd be pissed off too if I lost Seven all that years shit. Later, the Supreme I would fight for that. Did not rule in his favor, and he is now left with a mountain of legal fees. Actually, I wouldn't fight for that if I had to get a mountain of legal fees. Got his 15 minutes of fame on television. 73-year-old Carl Atwood went on a lottery game filmed for TV. Is that the principal from Sabrina the Teenage Witch? $150. Sadly, the day that Atwood got lucky was also the last day of his life. That same evening, he went to a grocery store to do some shopping. He was crossing the street only a block away from his home when he got hit by a truck. The oh. was badly lit, and Atwood was wearing dark clothing, which made him impossible to spot for the truck driver, who was just turning the corner when he accidentally ran the That's right, you look both ways before you cross. 
Timothy Elliott. How do you not notice a, a big ass truck coming your way? Who had a history of unless you're drunk. He was diagnosed with hey, Santa Claus disorder and was known to get into trouble. On one occasion, he robbed a convenience store. Santa's robbing a convenience store? No. Convenience store and buy all. Well, I guess he has to, to do something. Off. The other he didn't learn other anything, days besides was taken to prison, where he was given minimal jail time. Santa went to finish. jail. He was, however, given mandatory mental health counseling and put on probation, which banned him from leaving the country. Alcohol. He's bad, for, but the kids need well toys, man. During this probation period, you can't ban Santa Claus for being leaving the country. And won a million dollars after he had cashed in his ticket. His photo made it to the papers. Hey. There's proof that Santa is real. As buying a lottery ticket is considered gambling, Elliot was taken back into prison. Santa's in back in jail. Forfeited. Jose Antonio Cuotoc was a refugee Cuotoc. from Guatemala who moved to the USA in pursuit of the American dream. Finding a job he was satisfied with, he seemed to be doing well, only to reach the peak of the his... The wrong life. side of the tracks, on your left. Cuotoc got lucky and won $750,000. Cuotoc was an illegal immigrant, and thus he was afraid that being a lottery winner would draw too much attention to him. Trying to avoid the unwanted spotlight, he asked his boss, who knew of his situation to cash the ticket in. Oh, come on. Why the man agreed. No, and he totally didn't. Cash the he didn't. Ticket, but decided to take the money for See, himself. this is what happens. Kuatok was understandably Fucking hell, man. You don't trust people with that much money. His Fuck. former boss over the winnings. During the trial, which he consequently won, he lost a huge portion of the winnings on lawyer fees and, most importantly, revealed himself as an illegal immigrant. <laughs> so when in the end, he barely pretty much money, he was showed that he was an illegal immigrant. Anyway, a young man from Wichita, Kansas, who made his living working at the local Sonic Burger stand, bought a Lucky Scratch ticket, which won him seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He picked up his winnings at the lottery office, where Brian he got a Denny, is that you? lottery winner T-shirt. He sported the T-shirt when he went to make his first purchase with his newfound wealth, which turned out to be marijuana and methamphetamine. When he went home, really? his judgment clouded really? from the tasting of the goods he had acquired. He reloaded his butane lighter standing right next to a gas stove. This resulted in an explosion that destroyed fuck. most of his house, but luckily left him alive. Unfortunately How? for him, what survived with him was just enough drugs to give police reason to arrest him right after he came out of the hospital. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Nick Selleck from Croatia can either be regarded as the luckiest or the unluckiest man in the world. We featured his story in other videos before, but we just couldn't leave it out of this one. Salak has a bad habit of getting into trouble his entire life, coming face to face with death far too often. The music teacher's string of near fatal accidents started I back in the 1960s guy. when he was the guy who like avoid from get, keep on getting road. killed but survive. Suddenly derailed and plunged into an icy river, killing 17 passengers, but not Salak. The following year, Salak flew to Rijeka when the cockpit door was blown away, killing 19 passengers and leaving Salak with minor injuries as he miraculously landed in a haystack. In 1970, he managed fuck, to escape dude? minutes before his car exploded due to a faulty fuel pump. And three years later, another one of his still cars alive after fire, all that? with him losing only his hair. And other than that, being completely fine. 20 years later, he was hit by a city bus. And in 1996, he drove off a cliff to avoid an accident on the road and managed to survive <laughs> that as well. In 2000, driving him by the road, like, oh, I'm doing five. Oh, shit, a car. Oh, fuck, I'm going downhill. <laughs> Andrew Jack. I shouldn't be laughing, but fuck, it's funny. company president from West Virginia. Hey, look, it's JR. $17 million. When he a $315 million Powerball jackpot. The wealthy man was now even wealthier, but decided to share the wealth his luck had brought him. Why is his Whitaker donated why is his wife of his winnings to Christian charities, $14 million to his Jack Whitaker Foundation, and bought the woman who sold him the lucky ticket a $123,000 house, a new Dodge Ram truck and gave her fifty no fucking shit cash however God damn. kindness was not returned with kindness but rather the opposite 
What followed in Whitaker's life was a string of misfortunes. He was robbed multiple times and had his bank account emptied by thieves and his car being broken That's into what you do when you have that much money. His granddaughter and her boyfriend died from a drug overdose and his daughter died only several years after the tragic incident. Whitaker is allegedly broke now and known for giving way to an alcohol addiction as well as a bad habit of frequenting dodgy strip clubs. Aruj Khan from Chicago wasn't a fan of the lottery, but in June 2012, he decided to try his luck. Amazingly, the one and only ticket he bought turned out to be a lucky one. Khan won a million dollars. Khan decided to pick up all of his money at once, but his wait for the check was cut short as he was pronounced dead the very next day. What? His death was really the death of natural causes due to oh, heart and heart, and several basic tests were run to confirm this. Still, his relatives were suspicious and they insisted on in-depth toxicology scans and a more thorough autopsy. Their hunch turned out to be right as Khan was actually a very rare victim of cyanide poisoning. The suspicion that he was murdered for the large sum of money that he had won was confirmed when someone cashed his winnings two months later. The murderer was never discovered. Well, that's a lucky murderer. If he wasn't caught, I'm just saying. It's not cool to kill people, but if that guy still hasn't been caught yet, but fuck. That guy's living large, well... How long do you live large with one million dollars? Cause like, you can... Fucking... Spend that shit on cookers and crack for like a fucking day. But yeah, cyanide poisoning? Holy fuck! That's some hardcore shit! I need some water. That is some hardcore shit. The most I ever won a lottery ticket was like five dollars. The most I ever won was five dollars, and yeah, it's kind of embarrassing to go up to the person like, "Hey, I'd like to cash this in to get my five dollars." They just look at you like, "You broke ass bitch." <laughs> but hey, I don't care. I need the money, and then I go buy something stupid, like I don't know, something stupid like a fucking Mars bar or a Kit Kat. Or go to McDonald's or some shit. I don't know, this was a long time ago. But anyways, take it easy, humanoid nation. Bye.